Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. And I'm just waiting for a video to load and I was going over, some, I, I just made a hotkey to hide an item, which is the letter U on my keyboard. But I thought, when I was doing that, I thought if you look at Windows and Dockers, uh, Properties has a hotkey called alternate enter. Objects doesn't. And I use objects all the time, so I'm gonna make a hotkey for that. And while I'm here, uh, I was just playing around with alternate D. If we go alternate D, it creates a new page of our liking. So here's page one, here's page two. It made a copy that quick just with alternate D. Kind of like control D makes a duplicate of an item, alternate D makes a duplicate of the whole page. I'm gonna go and delete that page. So alternate enter opens up the property docker. Well, wouldn't it be neat to have one for the object manager, object, it used to be called object manager in earlier versions. So we're gonna to go to tools, options, customization, and I know which one it is, but you're not gonna know which one it is um, it would help if I could spell, but it's this object right here we need, but how do you know which one it is? Well, the one way you can find out is just, let's go to tools, options, customization, and we can move this window out of the way a little bit and then go to windows, dockers, objects, and it highlights that, that's the one we need right there. So we're just gonna take that one and we're gonna make a new shortcut key. We can't use, there's a lot of letters, especially on my keyboard that are taken, but we have alternate U or alternate enter for um, property. Let's do alternate shift. Well, that didn't work, so let's all alternate is right by the U, let's go alternate I. It's not assigned to anything else, so we're gonna assign it. And then people are gonna say, well, how do you remember all those? Well, if you start using it enough, so now I'm gonna hit alternate I, and the object manager or object opens up. And if we look, if we go to Windows, Dockers, look at there, there's our alternate I. You know, so you could make a, you can make a hot key. You know, most of these are corrals. You know, alter, uh, control T is to get to text. You know, uh, I mean, stuff like control F2, I never use. And, you know, this is a three key hot key. That takes too many steps. And, you know, like here's refresh, alternate control W, Docker, just open the Docker's alternate R. So there's another one I can add, I could have added to this list. I'm gonna hit alternate R and there's your Docker and then you can go over to whatever you need. Like I use these all the time, corners and join curves. So there's another alternate I should have put in there. So alternate, you know, if you, that way it's a, you know, cause you can't use D cause that's already taken up and you can't hit enter. Uh, and like I said the other day in a video, uh, when you're using keys on the keyboard, they're not going to type text unless you have the text tool selected. So if you don't, if you have the pick tool selected, uh, just like hitting P on your keyboard to put that in the center of the page, P is probably the best one there is ever. It's it's one that's it's default. It's loaded into your into your Corel on every version I've ever had. But if we go here and hit P, I use the center of the page for a lot. But I'm pretty happy to have an object manager uh, hotkey. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.